ちょっと分かんなかったよ。こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、またで、こんなかんなで、また
But what's more important to understand is the inner three jewels, how the three jewels are within yourself. And so to put that into simple terms, um, it is uh, written uh, very uh, in, in simple terms on our refuge card that you will receive later. So for the Buddha, it says, I take refuge in wisdom, the heart essence of the Buddha. So that is really the Buddha we take refuge in, is our own wisdom. And wisdom is our pure mind. The Buddha said, completely tame your own mind. So it's really you who has to protect yourself, your mind. You need to protect your mind through wisdom. And with wisdom, you understand that I do not want to suffer. I need a refuge that protects me from suffering. So with wisdom, you find a way to become protected from suffering. Um, as you mentioned before, uh, um, we also visualize the Hung syllable, that which we print on um, clothing, for example, and so on, to protect our mind, essentially. So uh, right now, the um, essence of our mind, or what, what we find, is a self. But when you look at the nature of that, then there is nothing but space. And you see the ultimate truth where self and other do not exist. Do you see that with your inner wisdom, the inner Buddha? And then it says, I take refuge in love and compassion, the heart essence of the Dharma. In brief, the antidote to self-grasping is love. We need to cultivate love. If you only even have the slightest love, you will experience happiness. That is why we pray for sentient beings to be happy and have the causes of happiness. The only cause of happiness for all beings in the three realms is love. So that is the actual dharma that you take refuge in. It is your own love and compassion. So love has to protect your mind. And with mindfulness, with wisdom, you recognize that. For example, if there are two companions, two friends, who love each other and who are able to be patient with each other, they will be happy. It's just the nature of things. So the Buddha you take refuge in is your own wisdom. The essence of the Dharma is your own love and compassion. And then for the Sangha, I take refuge in virtuous friends, the heart essence of companions. Uh, so it is the Sangha who shows us the Dharma. There are endless Dharma teachings. We speak about 84,000 different Dharma teachings. There are so many different antidotes because there are so many sentient beings. And understanding the essence of the Dharma really depends on a teacher. We need a teacher. And uh, just like a little child first needs um, its mother, then it needs school teachers, and later one needs the country that protects its people. So we need some kind of um, protection. And of the different kinds of protection, our teachers are extremely precious because they teach us uh, everything about the Dharma. So again, with wisdom, you are able to cultivate love and compassion and practice patience, and then also are able to rely on a teacher in both the mundane sense and the spiritual sense. Gigi <laughs> え、
ノバチタマタテナカゴレセムピゴソミチエティランジイテチャノレティテランケセムネヨソドトソセムネピンセムデゾンゴソンゾンデコテリンレクタレシオノセムデパンゴオテデパチアムネノセムパンゴオチリア
Tri to what it young you marry, tri, jay, jay, clang, jay, 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 you marry, jay, the long child of the jay, 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 Oh, that nigga loaded the part of the sobacari coach, young around the way. They lowered the body mother, cause same years to why you married it. They tama lariate. That's how I talk at the door. Now I tell you lariate, Tawata and Nari. They tama sanjay, some she come ready. She come to the viagory. They don't damn them on the tongue zone. They tama she come to Tongu Yori, the Maribel Gordon and Ninja de Shaki Yori. Tres de chapón de todo el año, 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 todo el año. So, en la refugio card, it says, this is the Buddha's <coughs> teachings. So, um, again, also en la refugio card, it then says, when one is skilled in a pure perception of the universe and all beings, the vows of secret mantra are complete. When you never separate from love, your mind becomes very pure. When the mind becomes very pure, you will realize that there are no self and others, that we all have one mind. When you understand that, you will also naturally understand that there are no demons. That question arose yesterday about demons. There really are no demons. There is not a single demon that really exists. We can say that an ice block is a demon and water is like a god. And god here means flawless. So having a pure perception of the universe and all beings means that if you, if you have love always for all beings, you will see all beings as the deity. For example, when you look at a scorpion, um, even the mind of a scorpion is the, a Buddha. It has the same mind. All beings are primordially Buddhas. And so why does the scorpion then appear in this um, dreadful form? Um, it is because it is said a scorpion, for instance, is a natural manifestation of anger, of hatred. However, this is only a temporary state. Fundamentally, this is not the scorpion's <coughs> true nature. The scorpion also possesses Buddha nature. So when you really understand the Vajrayana, you will begin to perceive all appearances as the deity, and you will hear all sounds as the mantra. Wherever you go will be a pure land. Wherever you meet will be a, a deity. When you see the ultimate truth, everything really becomes a pure land. Milarepa also taught on that in the 100,000 songs of Milarepa that we often mention. So um, everything, um, all of that, um, in essence, is contained in the refuge card. Mm. And so once you have taken the refuge vow, um, then you have this awareness, I have now taken the refuge vow. And what does that mean? <coughs> it means I must protect myself and also others. And how can I do that? In order to protect myself and others, I must give rise to love. Now that I have taken the refuge vow, I have become a Sangha. Uh, so there is this small pin here. 
that in the past, um, Ambrose just said, I would always give that to everyone who's receiving the refuge vow. That pin also contains the liberation by seeing mantra. Uh, now, um, we don't really pass that out much anymore. Uh, um, and even if I pass it out, often people don't really wear it anyways. Um, but um, anyways, we only have a few left. Um, and so today I'm passing those out again. And the mantra and what is printed on the t-shirt and so on, it's, it is all the same, the same liberation mantra. And you wear that close to you as a reminder, I am a Sangha. I must not get angry at others. I must not harm others. I must have a wish to benefit others. I must help others. I must give love to others. So being a Sangha in essence means I must have love for all sentient beings. So this little pin that you will receive is a reminder of this. <laughs> ジャタ君とアマケジャタ君なんかやってて、で、ガトンティ都差的破壊的人工智能机跑的。呃,这个那个不可能的,那么,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你,你
um, and then um, offered to the, the king, um, but really was um, kept um, by um, uh, Guard Dongzhen eventually, because after the king had passed away, so she was the king's wife, and after the king had passed away, she, the queen, then stays in Guard Dongzhen's home for 15 years until her own death. And she gave him the, the Gyanama prayer wheel, and that, that prayer wheel is actually now installed at Gar Monastery at the present day. Uh, so that's that image. And then there is the 37 Bodhisattva practices which you will receive. And at the end of the little booklet, there is a picture of the practice cave of the author who wrote the 37 practices. Ngulcho um, Tome, who was um, a Sakya um, master. And so when, when I was young and uh, I read the 37 Bodhisattva practices many times, I had memorized it. Uh, I was still not moved to tears as much as when I saw that picture of that cave. When I saw the picture of that cave, it really moved me to tears. And why? It was really the, the blessings of this great Bodhisattva who wrote this text and who had practiced there. I made a connection to his great love, and that is what I felt. And that is why I really wanted to add this particular image into uh, to that book. So that's an image of the practice cave of Ngulcho Tome. And then um, in the middle of there, we, uh, um, we drew a picture of Ngulcho Tome. And so it's not a real photograph, obviously. It's an, it's an image drawn. And so because it's not a real photograph, some people may say that, oh, that's not really Ngulcho Tome. But actually, to think that way is, is really very stupid, actually. Um, because um, we, we think that just because it's, it's written, that's not what it really is. Or we see a tanka and we say, that's not really the deity, or that's not really the, the lama. Actually, what we're looking at is just a body. The body is just like an empty house. And what's more important is the mind. The mind will never change or never die. Like Miller Repa also said before he left his body, that the mind cannot die. The mind continues on as the um, Dharmakaya or may manifest as Sambhogakaya or Nirmanakaya. So all these different images, these photographs or things we see on a tanka, uh, different paintings, they are the real day team or the, the real guru. And if you, you recognize that, there actually have been stories of, for example, Tara images giving teachings to um, Lama. There are many stories like that, but those images then begin to speak to one. So all of these representations of enlightened body, speech, and mind should be really seen as the actual Buddha, the actual deity. If one thinks that that's not the real thing, then one really focuses only on the physical body. And again, the physical body is just like an empty house. It really has no substance. And the same actually goes also for um, the, the live stream or the online or recording. That's also the, the real um, Lama, what you see on the screen. Because the actual Lama is the Lama's enlightened mind. And that mind can never die. Before Milarepa left his body, he said to his disciples, I cannot die, and I will continue to pervade the five elements like space, all pervasive like space. Whoever supplicates me with trust, I will be with them, inseparable from their mind. So that is also very important. Um, and so, um, because th this image uh, of Ngulcho Thome's practice cave is, uh, has a lot of blessings, I wanted to add that to the 37 Bodhisattva Practices booklet, and so we made a new print of that, and I would like to offer that to you today as a gift. <laughs> Uh, 
And then also you will have um, a little piece of your hair clipped and your hair will go into this little pouch and then at some point all the hair will be sent to Tibet to um, the prayer wheel we just mentioned the Gyanama prayer wheel and once the um, hair reaches there um, the monks there make prayers over the different um, hairs that we have accumulated continuously by spinning the prayer wheel 24 hours a day, non-stop. There's always a monk there spinning the prayer wheel. It never comes, it never goes, um, um, it never is still, it always turns. And that's um, really very special. Um, in the past, I was actually a, a Chinese official, a, a high, a general, who came to visit Gar Monastery one time and he really praised the monastery for that prayer wheel. He said that in this province of Qinghai, there are around 700 monasteries, large and small, but this is the only one that actually engages in a virtuous activity all the time, 24 hours, by spinning that prayer wheel. And that is why he said, you are really the best monastery. And he um, promised to make a monetary gift of 500,000 yen to the monastery. Um, so this uh, prayer wheel uh, was even recognized uh, by, by the country. Oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, so then next we come to uh, repeating the refuge vow. And so Rinpoche would like us to repeat that prayer we have in the yellow prayer book. And um, so after we have repeated that, also think that I'm going for refuge until I attain enlightenment. And then Rinpoche will say, tap you know, which means this is the method. And in response to that, we will say lexo or excellent. Oh Then uh, please repeat. Ah, oh, sorry, that's on page number four. On page number four in the yellow prayer book. Yeah. Okay. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly by the merit of generosity and the other perfections. May I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. So then next, um, Rinpoche will say, tap, you know, which means this is the method. And so in that moment, I um, now think that um, now I am receiving the refuge vow. 
and then in response to that, say um, Lexo, which means excellent. And then after that, you can come up one by one, and you will have your hair clipped. Um, so Rumpusha said that he himself can't really clip the hair, but Kempo Tenzin will, will help with that. Uh, so please come up, and then you will receive um, your various gifts. <laughs> And so for the benefits of taking refuge, um, once you have taken the refuge vow, from this day onward, in all future lifetimes, wherever you go, uh, the three jewels will protect you until the ice block of the mind has completely melted. Temporarily, you will always take birth in the three higher realms, and ultimately, you will attain enlightenment. And until you attain enlightenment, you will always enjoy the happiness of the higher realms. So these are the benefits in brief. Oh, Following all the victorious ones, may I train, bringing excellent conduct to complete perfection and engage in holy, pure, flawless discipline that never lapses and is free from faults. In this and all future lives, may I never be separated from the three jewels. For the sake of the Dharma, may I even give away my life and work for the benefit of beings with great determination May Bodhicitta, the precious and supreme mind, arise in whom it has not yet arisen, where it has arisen, may it not decline, but ever increase, higher and higher. In this and all future lives, may I never be separated from the supreme teachings of the unequaled Drikung Bar and may glorious gurus take me into their care. In all rebirths, may I never be separated from authentic gurus, 
May I enjoy the glories of the Dharma and having fully perfected the qualities of the Bhumis and Paths, may I swiftly attain the state of Vajradhara. <laughs> In this and all my future lives, may I be born in a good family, be endowed with clear intellect, be free from pride, be greatly compassionate and devoted to the Guru. May my Samaya, with the glorious Guru, remain firm. Whatever aspiration prayers have been made for the sake of sentient beings from the great Samantabhadra Vajradhara on down to the kind root gurus May they all be swiftly accomplished. Your thousand arms are the thousand wheel-turning kings. Your thousand eyes are the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon. Your love is boundless like space. I supplicate the Bodhisattva Chenrezig. Oh. Mm-hmm.